I don't have any place to go to. Why? My boss that I was learning apprentice with, he, he chased me out of the house. It was where I was sleeping that those vigilantes saw me and started accusing me of being a criminal. So by implication, what you're trying to say is that you, you don't have anywhere to go. No, I don't. I don't have any place to go to. I don't know. I know it's, you've already done so much for me. I don't know if there's anything you can do for me. I would appreciate it. Welcome to my humble home. Thank you, Ma. Let me sit. Um, uh, Ma, I want to thank you once again for not allowing me to sleep at the police station. Thank you. I appreciate you very much, Ma. Um, my name is Joan. Okay, I would really love that you address me as Miss Joan. Okay, I'm too young for you to address me as ma. Okay, so Miss Joan. That's better. So you said that you don't have anywhere to stay, correct? Yeah, no, I, I, I don't have any place to stay. So. Can you manage a room here then? Here? Miss, if you give me a place to stay here, it cannot be managed. It's not managed. I will, I will, I will appreciate it. I will appreciate it, ma. I'm sorry, Miss Joanne. Okay, so where are your belongings, you know, your shoes, your bags, and every other thing that you have? I kept it somewhere. I can go and get them later. All right. But you do know that I can use my office to make sure that your boss pays you every single thing that he owes you. Sorry, for I'm, 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 so, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Please, let's just leave him alone. I will start all over. Forget about him. I can start all over. Just leave him, please. Don't worry yourself. I do, I will survive without him. Are you sure about that? Yes, I will, I will try. Okay. Okay then, so, um, I'll show you to your room and get you something to change into. Okay, let's go. Thank you very much. This way. Like it here? Yes, sure I do. Okay. Um, I mean, are you comfortable here? Yeah. Yes, definitely. I am. Okay then. Um, I'm on my way out, and sadly, I would not be able to prepare something for lunch. So uh, I came to ask what you would like me to get for you on my way back. Okay. Um. Anything will be good. Anything? Yes, anything. Okay. All right, then. I will be on my way now. All right. Um, be safe out there. Yeah. Thank you. I will be. All right. Bye. Bye.
Hey, young man. What are you doing there? I um I was not actually doing anything, so I just said I should um, come out and um, just experience nature, just play with nature, like do you understand? You come out to play with nature. You come out to play with nature. Do you know what they call mesmerizing in the in in, in law term? Do you know what is mesmerizing? You just committed a crime now, mesmerizing, and he can take you to prison straight. This thing you just did now is tantamount to 40 years imprisonment. You don't know. Wait, for real? Are you, are you serious? Which one is for real? Are you, you're asking me, are you serious? Is there any way that they told you that ignorance is an excuse to break the law? Look, I didn't know. Eh? Um, so, Gateman, um, I'm very sorry. Please. What did you just say? I'm sorry. What did you just say? You called me get man. Professor of the law and emeritus, you called me get man. Hi. You are going to prison straight. Oh, okay. Um, this one you just said now, eh? You will rot in jail. You. I, see, um, Professor, I am very sorry. Eh? Honestly, I, 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 I didn't know that you are a barrister. You, you didn't notice the rank. I'm very sorry. You, you did not notice my rank. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I w I, if I had known, if I had noticed it, I would not try it again. I swear, I won't try it again. I will never do it. My friend, go go inside. inside. You, you think there is anywhere in the constitution where they say you can be parambulating all about in somebody's compound? Go inside before you put yourself in trouble. Go! Just, just imagine. You don't know the law. You don't know that this thing you just did now. When you go to uh, uh, section 13, subsection 24, paragraph 40. When, once you get there, you, you immediately they read it out for you. You are in prison already. You get, you wrote there. Onya Allah. Onya the Lord time say make ewa here. Onya make ewa. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. I got this for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll be inside. All right. I'll come in. What are you trying to do? How? Were you trying to take that thing inside and eat it? Yes, no, she bought it for me. How? I don't understand. This guy, it's like you, you have, you, you see this, our Nigerian law, you are taking it for granted. You are taking the law for granted. See, wait, have you forgotten Article 14? Section 9, subsection 12, where it was stated and stipulated. That you cannot eat, you cannot overfeed yourself when your prof is hungry. When your prof has not had anything, you want to go, you want to go. Wait, wait, I, I didn't know there's such a law. You don't know, how will you know? How will you know you want to go to prison? Oh, you, you, you want to go and rest in prison. Yeah. I'll make sure you go there. No, it's okay. I'll just share with you now. Mm -mm. Don't share now. Why are you checking it out? This is a national case, you want to embezzle it? You want to embezzle? I will manage. Embezzlement is a, is a case, so it's a bigger case that can take you to 40 years. So. Good day. Good day, Brit. Juan, you really got on my nerves. You kept me like all day. What actually happened? <sighs> Loretta, I am so sorry, okay? I need you to forgive me. I was already on my way to you. Okay, when I saw some security officials maltreating a young man, he was accused of stealing. I had to step in for him. And at the end of the day, he was found innocent. 
At least you would have called to tell me you can't make it. I know. And that's why I'm saying I'm sorry. And I promise something like this will never repeat itself again. What is it, Cyril? Um, nothing, actually, ma'am. Okay, excuse me, I have a visitor. I'm sorry. Okay, so, uh, I'm sorry. your brother or Loretta, what exactly do you want to know? Busybody, come, let's cheers. Let's cheers. <laughs> cheers. Don't try that with me, guys. I said I'm sorry. Are you going to eat me up? I know nothing about the law and the constitution. Uh, my education stopped back then in um, secondary school. And even then, I still cannot remember what I was being taught. All the things have gone off my head. That's all right. Um, I will go through the fundamental human rights with you. And as time passes, I will let you know. So there are various fundamental human rights enshrined in the fourth chapter of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We have the right to life. We have um, respect for the dignity of a person. We have right to personal liberty. We have freedom of speech. We have freedom of movement, freedom of religion, and right to ownership of properties. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I can't even believe everything you said. It's like tricking my head. It's okay. Fine, boy. I'll take it easy on you, okay? One step at a time. So, let's um, talk about the right to life now. Right to life entails the right of a person to his or her life. Meaning that a person's life should not be taken away from them except a court rules otherwise. Hey. Hey. Wow, so you've been here and I've just been there in the palace doing nothing. Okay, um, what can I do to help? No, it's okay. I've got it. As you can see, I'm just getting the ingredients ready. But I insist. In short, I'm going to wash my hands. No, so, um, yeah, okay, you can, you can go ahead with the piece while I get the pot. Cyril, yeah. I have been meaning to ask you. What is it? Wouldn't you like to start up something instead of staying idle every day? That's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, um, the thing is, I don't know what to start. Like, just not, I have no idea what I will start doing now. Clueless. Mm, I understand. I mean, that's always the case, you know. Um, well, at least um, I just wanted to know if you actually want to start up something. Uh, yes, I honestly would love to start something. Okay. Okay then. So, how well do you think you've mastered your boss's business? Quite well. I was already due to be settled. So, <laughs> tell me a little bit about what the business. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Um, Oh. 
Your food. Ah. Uh ah. -uh. Uh -uh. Wait. You did not cover the food you are giving to a professor. You did not cover the food you are bringing to a professor. Do you know that this is also a crime? An exposition of an emeritus food. Exposition of an emeritus food. You are going to prison, this boy. Eh? 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 But Prof, you safe. Calm down now. Eh? Every small thing you just be hitting me with grammar up and down that I don't even understand. Eh, relax. Okay, you yeah. use it all the time. You are challenging the law. In other words, you are challenging the law. You are adding more salt to injury. Okay? Meanwhile, where is madam? Any problem? Where is madam? I say any problem. What do you mean by any problem? Take this food, go and add one, one meat. Oh, add meat. A professor cannot eat one meat. Professor, this is what she said I should give you. If you have any problem with it, you go meet her, then you tell her that you want more meat. This is what she said. In other words, you are sending an emeritus and an errand. You are sending me a message. Hey, you see you. The way you are behaving, I will make sure you, you touch for the wall, four walls of the prison. I got go get Wait, eh? What? You must enter prison. I got go get chain. In a jenga. I'm coming. Yeah, baby. That's all. That's more right. Go. Run, 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 run. Equalize. I'm coming. Okay, take it. Okay, I'm coming. Three meters. <laughs> I am going to lay more law terms. Plenty. The ones that is very, very close to taking people to prison. Straight up. So that I will use it on this boy. Ha! This is the first time I've seen somebody that is uh, afraid of entering the prison. You know? Totally. On no pre. Before you say Zim, you don't run. <laughs> Who creates more laws? To eat like six times a day. Who <laughs> day? If you misbehave, you will enter my metaphysical jail. My own personal metaphysical jail. He's going there straight. Siri! Siri! I've not had something this delicious in a long time. So, you like it? Yes, I do. Mm. You know, in this cooking game, no one beats you. You're the best. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> this credit is not mine alone. Okay, it is ours. Yes, because we made the food together. So, we are the best in this cooking business. <laughs> really? Yes. But I think mine actually tastes better than yours. I'm sure you should have a taste or something. Yeah. What are you trying to do? I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to... You wanted to force me into no. getting emotional with you when I don't want to? you wanted to do, but that's what you just did. You're trying to compel me into having feelings for you. When I'm not interested in doing that, don't you know that it's against the law to do that? I, I, I was not trying to make you get more. That's what you just did. Let me have it. Hmm? Let me have it. Okay. Yours actually tastes better.
You know you're such a sweet guy, right? Thank you. I know you've got your cutlery, so cut through the meat if you want. You don't have to use your hands. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm letting down my guards of emotion for this young man, Cyril. He looks so cute and tempted. Yeah. And the fact that he's under my roof is drawing my urge closer to wanting to finally lay with a man for the first time. Which is not bad. After all, I've tried. Losing my virginity now won't be a crime since I'm now financially stable. I seriously can't wait to have a taste of a man in my life. But wait, is he worth it? I mean, cereal is a nobody, yeah? far below my class won't it be embarrassing and 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 sort of self-degrading for me to allow him see my nakedness talk more of having canal knowledge of me a boy thrown out of the house by his boss sleeping with me no 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 It's another beautiful day. God, I thank you for this day. Wow. I thank you for Joanne. God, she's such a charming young lady. So pretty that no one can resist her advances. I can already sense her intentions through her action. I mean, she can't just be so nice to me and won't come out around asking for some touches one day. My goodness. I have, I'm still a virgin. Oh my God. Won't it be disappointing if I can't handle her? Her. She might throw me out of this house. God, what do I do? How do I go about this? Ah. Oh. for work already? Yes. I am ready. So, how do I look? Stunning. 
You glow like the morning star. Thank you. My pleasure. Do you do know that you're a really nice guy, right? Thank you. Okay, I have to be on my way now. I will see you when I get back. All right. Yeah. So dress it there. I'm sorry. It's okay. What would you like me to get to you on my way back? Sorry, huh? Talk. Anyway, I'll definitely get you something. Have a good day. Okay then, see what you later, thing? babe. Yeah. Really? Juan, mm -hmm. when do you intend telling me what is going on? I mean, you made a cash and refused to tell me about it. Loretta, what cash are you talking about? Oh, please save yourself this pretense. I'm talking about the guy I met at your place. <laughs> oh. Cereal. <laughs> Loretta, that's, that's the same guy I was telling you about. You remember the one I told you I helped? The, the one that was accused of stealing? That's the same guy. Oh. Wow. And you're housing him? <laughs> it's cute, though. What is that look on your face? Hold on. I hope... You're not suspecting that I'm dating him or something like that. Well, who oh, have such a young, cute guy under her roof and would not put him into a serious relationship? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Loretta, please. The reverse is the case here, okay? Cyril is not my kind of guy. Yes, uh, that guy is a nobody. He's classless, can't you see? See. I know he's cute and all of that, but I will not stoop so low to doing something with a guy like that. No. Are you being serious right now? Dead serious. Like you consider people's titles before dating them? Instead of you following your heart. I mean, that guy is cute. Juan! Anyway, I think I like him. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Does he mean that there is nothing in this house? What exactly do you want? What, what is except food? Eh? Do you want to starve me? I am very hungry and it's affecting my grammatical balance. Yaga. Yes, now. Nah. And it's against, it's against the law. The law of uh, hunger and iteritimism. Iteritimism? Is there even such a word like that? What do you mean? Are you doubting me? No, you are doubting a professor of the law. A lawmaker. A senior advocate. Eh? What do you mean? An elite. An elite of the highest echelon. Endowed with uh, uh, speakism and uh, what, what are you saying? You are doubting me. Look, what is even the essence? What's the point of all this, your grammar, if I don't understand it? <laughs> uh, look, if it's food you want, there's food, but... Uh, you, you... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You're saying what? No, but what? Do you know how severe the punishment attached to this kind of crime is? Hmm? Starving a uh, 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 son. Somebody that one one signature, pia, 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 pia. you are in prison. You are stabbing me. Okay. You know how severe. I beg, Oga, okay. let's go inside. I'm going and grab something to eat. Sorry. You, you need to taste prison. Let I will bring people to check with you. I'm talking grandma, grandma. I will check with you. With are you love. coming? Go and get it. Go get it. 
Okay, okay, let me read paragraph 20. No, you would have waited now. Tell her come forward paragraph 20. <laughs> this thing is working now. It is working now. <laughs> I will get fat in this compound. This, thank God for bringing this boy. I will, yeah, I'll be eating like sissy's plate every day. Onyala. Onyala. Chai! <laughs> Only God knows if there's anywhere they wrote. All this English. No, Mr. F, don't know where they come from. Now God, they run up. Wait a minute. Like, seriously? Juan does not have anything with that guy. I have to make the move then. A lot of guys avoid me. Some are afraid of approaching me because I'm a barrister. And they believe I am above their class. Not knowing I am not one of those self-acclaimed classy ladies. Hmm. Anyway. Now I have found someone so cute and attractive. I must bring down my self-esteem if I have any. I will stoop that low to ensure I have the man I desire. Hmm. Juan. Juan does not know what she's doing yet. Hmm. Yes, welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. How are you doing? <laughs> As you can see, fine. I don't think I need to ask you because you're still stunning. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Work stress got nothing on you. You look just as beautiful as you were when you left in the morning. Hmm. I'm too stressed to blush. You better get used to it because you have the number one hype king here and I'm not <laughs> going to stop hyping you. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. <I'm> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I was just trying to... You are just trying to what? You were just trying to what? Cyril, you just attempted to rape me. Rape? No, 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 Maya. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. Do it again. You were trying to force yourself on me. You were trying to break me. No, 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 no. I, I, I wasn't doing that. Well, you just attempted to. Do you realize that this is punishable under section 359 of the Criminal Code Act, which states that if an individual is found guilty of committing an offense of rape, that individual is guilty of a felony and is liable of a 14 years imprisonment. Do you know that? No, 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 no. I'm very sorry. I swear, I promise. I wasn't trying to rape you. I just... Cereal! Cereal? You have to know your boundaries in this house. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't you... Don't you ever... Try this again.
Wait, I want to understand something. Siri, you attempted raping madam. You attempted raping madam, a lawyer of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You attempted raping her, Siri. Look, I did it. Now, that's not what I said. Eh? If you listen to me talk, you will understand what I said, but you don't want to listen. What did you tell me now? You told me that you attempted raping her. You said it yourself. I, had, I have evidence, and you want to deny. I have evidence against you. You want to deny. What I said is that I tickled Madame, and then she said I want to rape her. Hmm. Tinko, tinko, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above, they were so high, like a diamond in the sky. You just tickled her. Look at you. Look at what you said. Tinko. Do you know the law against woman ticulism? Woman ticulism, do you know where it is in paragraph 40? Subsection 13 is there. Hmm? You don't know. He can, he can embody you like this, embody you into crimeism into, and then prison. What are you even saying, eh, Prof? What? You and this ism, every time ism, ism, ism. Ooh, you know nothing. You don't know anything. You're just a freelance crime committer. Freelance crime committer. You're just committing crime at will without knowing the, 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 the gravity of each crime that you commit. You see? You know nothing. Let me tell you, any lawyer, barrister, son in this community, they use Zim to end each, each of their sentences. You put to Zim. Oh. Yes, yes, because it's in the constitution guiding the profession. You know nothing. I didn't know, but then, uh, uh, now, to just tickle person now, it's now a crime. Uh, it is not a crime. It's until you stop person. Until you molest madam sexually. Look at you. Your madam is who you are, you are tickling. Your madam. If they leave you now, you will spank her ass. Hey, go, go, madam That's not what I've said. Hey, hey, madam there is nothing you can do. This boy. Um, prof, I'm going inside. Imagine. I didn't know you were here. And why is she staring at him like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're welcome, Loretta. Thank you. So, what are we going to be chilling with? It depends. What would you like me to get for you? Anything. Anything? Okay, then. I will be with you shortly. Alright. Yeah?
The truth is, I'm falling for Cyril. And I want to ask him out. Juan? Juan? Why do you always give this dead expression each time I talk about my feelings for Cyril? What do you want me to say? At least say something. I mean, you told me that he's below your class. I want to pick him up and upgrade him. Make him, you know, a very classy man that will fit. Loretta, 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 please. Can we talk about this later, sometime? Please. Okay. All right. Um, I think I should be on my way now. I mean, I've spent a lot of time here. Yes, of course you have. You did spend a lot of time, but I enjoyed your company. So thank you so much for coming. It's okay. I'll see you. Yeah, bye. Someone seems busy today. <laughs> yeah. As you can see. So, do you mind if I help? Yeah. My madam is not around though. I'm just home alone with Siri. Okay, I'm not here to see you, madam. Yeah. I'm here to see Cyril. Do you have a problem with that? Say what? I said I'm here to see Cyril. Siri? Do you have a problem with that? No, no, no problem. You can go. Thank you. I don't understand. Why would you come looking for me? A total stranger. Someone you know nothing about. That makes it more interesting, Cyril. Okay, fine. I would like to know more about you. No, I would like us to know more about each other. I'm Loretta, by the way. I'm a lawyer, a member of the Nigerian Bar Association, and an entrepreneur. It's really nice meeting you. Interesting. It's nice, but the only thing you can know about me is my name and nothing more. I don't have a business. I don't have a profession attached to my name. I mean, nobody. No, Cyril, you're not a nobody. Okay? Listen, you're a young man with a promising future. Don't allow your present situation make you develop a low self-esteem for yourself. Okay? Thank you. Thank you for the words of hope and encouragement. You're welcome. You see, Cyril, I've been observing you for some time now. I think you're the kind of man I want in my life. What do you mean by that? I love you, Sue. I love you so much. And if you allow me, 
I will make you that man you've always dreamed to be. I want you to be my man. No, look, I'm not interested in... It, it's in... okay. It's okay. Don't say anything for that. It's fine. So what about lunch? Let's have lunch. I hope you won't turn that down. Okay. Um, give me some time to freshen up. All right. I'll be waiting. With the look on your face, I can tell you've not been to a place like this before. No, this is actually the first time I've been to an eatery. Really? Yes. Don't worry. I'll take you around the world, okay? So long you have me around you. You know, traveling around the world has always been my dream. But, I mean, it just keeps collapsing. And here you have a lady ready to give you all herself and utilize your dream. Hmm? Why not be my man? Ah, please, can we not? Can you stop? Please. Like, you know what? Let's just talk about something else. Please. It's okay. Republic, number one, number one. <laughs> I greet you, man. Prof. Did anyone drive into this compound while I was away? Yes, yeah, so your friend Loretta. Loretta came in here. Loretta? Why did Loretta come here while? I was not around. I mean, she knows that I would not be here during the day. So why did she come? Hey, madam, she was not here to see you. She was here to see Sere. She was here to see Sere. Loretta was here to see Sere. Yes. And why did you let her in? Why did you let her in? I'm asking you! Hey, I'm sorry, ma. It's just that... Um... Why didn't you tell her to go back? Why did you not tell her to go back and wait for me till I return? Why? Sorry, ma. I'm sorry. It's just that time. Uh... It's just that what? Prof, I left very strict instructions. I left strict instructions that you should not let anybody into this house while I'm away, in my absence. And you're here telling me sorry. Where is Cyril? <sighs> Shut, we're outside. We're outside. Both of them are outside. She left with him. Sarah went out with Loretta. Do you see what you have cost? I'm asking you, do you see what you have cost? Prof, it's high time you lost this job. Eh? <laughs> Madam. Get out. Madam, no good. Get out of my side! No, Get out! No go that side, ma. <laughs> no, no go really happy that too, ma. Today. <laughs> Should I go and look for them? Madam, should I search for them? Should I go in search of them, ma? I got one aside, they're losing job. Okay. What exactly is wrong with Loretta? I don't know 
what she wants with cereal. What exactly does this woman want with cereal? What is so annoying is that she has a lot of men, lots of men who are coming for her. Rich, influential. I wonder why she would not just pick one of them and leave cereal for me. A guy I'm just trying to grow into. It's high time I talked some sense into her. Because this has to stop. I wonder where she took him to. What are they even doing there in the first place? Coming from Cyril. I'm sorry. I'm asking, where are you coming from? I am asking where you are coming from. I do not need apologies. Where are you coming from? Your friend, Loretta, she asked me to accompany her for lunch. And you obliged? Cyril. You left this house without seeking my consent. I'm sorry, but nothing happened. Nothing happened? There you go again, nothing happened. Why weren't you taking my calls then? Huh? I didn't hear you ring. My phone must have been on you. And who is interested in your silly excuses? Who is? I do not. I want to believe that you're an ingrate. So stop with this attitude of yours. Stop it already! I'm really sorry. All right. I miss you welcome home. Please, don't ever make me angry again. I promise. Okay, so why don't you go inside, freshen up? I'm just coming back myself, so let's go. kind of risk you are taking. You left the woman that asked you and you are following another woman out. Do you know it's a very big crime? It's against the law. This is tantamount to death by hanging. Yes. You will just see them now. They will just call your name. Siri, Siri, you have been discharged and acquitted. You will hear with that big bomboni. Ibi. You will land inside prison. Discharged and acquitted straight inside prison. You mark like 40 years there. The idea will just fill up your, your jaw like this. I, I didn't know it's a crime. <laughs> you didn't know it's a crime. How will you know? How will you know? Let me tell you, my friend. Ignorance is not an excuse in the law, in the law court. Yes, it is there in the by, by law. Go to section 40, subsection 50. It is written there in parentheses. Written in parentheses. Look at you. In fact, let me explain this thing. This is your crime. Let me explain it to you. What you just committed now is what they call atstepism. Or cross-boundaryism. Yes, meaning that you are, are stepping where you're supposed to be. Crossing boundary into where you're not supposed to be. Which is tantamount to death by hanging. 
You can just die. Die for nothing inside prison. Okay. Let me let me just tell you the truth, though. I feel something strong for Joanne. I do. But the problem is that she said she's not even showing me any sign that, that it is mutual or it's the same thing. You understand? And now, Loretta has come now and she, she's telling me all these things that she loves me and all of that. And then she's still promising me good things. And she promised that she will better my life. <laughs> you better remove that your life. Okay? You see that your life? You better remove it from that place you are putting it. Oh, madam. We batter it for you. That your life will be battered. Yeah, I batter, I batter. You're not this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, madam. <laughs> I tell you and I quote, if madam catch you, I'll grind the again. You don't know, madam. In fact, let me explain, madam, in let me let me explain her in parentheses. Madam, that you know, at least in this state, 60 people are rotting in jail because of her. Hmm? So, like 60 to 70 people are rotting in jail with Madame's signature. Discharge and acquitted. Cha 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 cha. Discharge and acquitted. Boom. Like 70 people. Some are serving a uh, life sentence. Some uh, uh, dead by hanging. Some by firing squad. Some no parents, no mother, no visiting. Nobody will come there for years. <laughs> Somebody like you, eh? Madame will uh, create your own grand set. They will create your own. Different. Build something for you. 50 people. 70. You see, you don't know count. You can't count. 70. Catch it. What business do you have with Cyril? Why sound as if I've not told you already? Okay, for the sake of clarity, I love Cyril. And I want him to be my man. Can you hear yourself? Loud and clear. Listen, Joan. I want you to make this easy for me. He's actually proving stubborn. That is the reason you should let him be. Yes, that is the reason you should let the young man be. Loretta, listen, I do not want this to bring a problem between you and I. So I beg you, I beg you with every single thing that you hold there. Juan. Juan! What is wrong with this girl? I thought she said she doesn't want this guy. Are you sure nothing happened between you and Loretta? Nothing. All we did was just go to an eatery, we ate, then we started coming back. Don't ever go out with her again. Please. No one is coming in between us. Okay, you have me all to yourself. What do you mean? That I won't go out with her again. Better. So... What would you like to have for dinner? Anything edible. I don't have a choice. Okay, so... I'm gonna go in the kitchen and make something for us to eat before it gets late. Okay? Okay. So... Are you gonna come with me? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah.
Hey, bud. Yeah, who made it today? Welcome. Thank you. Did Lorita come here in my absence? No, she didn't. That look on your face. No, she, Loretta didn't come here. You, you, you can ask Prof. She didn't come. Come on, I was just teasing you. <laughs> I was teasing you. I was at the courthouse today with Loretta. You frightened me. Did I? Yes, because I don't know how to defend myself. She didn't come. Mm. I was scared. It's okay. Um, let's go in. I have something for us. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Um, Prof. Get what you have in the car for me. Madam, you have to go. What is you wrong have, with you? I've been told not to allow you into this place. Uh, 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 if my madam is not around, you better go. Or you state your mission here, first of all. I should state my mission as a stranger of words. Are you out of your mind? Ah, I'm telling you, that is what I was told to, to do. So state your mission or I will not allow you into this place. If I want to pass here and you stop me, you will see the action I will take over you right now. Uh -uh. Go, on, Kasha. go, 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 madam. Don't worry. Not so all these female lawyers, you know, they like intimidation. Next thing now, you go say feminism. Feminism. Men against women. Next thing, they don't land you inside prison. Because go, the third, even the third door is open. First, second, every door they open. Do you like what you're watching? You'd like to watch something else? No, it's fine. Get us something to drink. Okay. <sighs> so, okay. don't you think this guy deserves not to be sent on an errand like this? <laughs> Defense minister. <sighs> so, what happened? I mean, I was expecting to traffic. see you earlier. Traffic. Huh. Traffic. The road was blocked. If you see traffic. Wow. That was what kept me. Yeah, I thought so too. Because yeah. these days, if you want to go somewhere, you have to plan ahead. And leave you your house early. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hmm. So you were saying? Ah, it's okay. Uh, never mind. But I I came for us to have a serious chat. Okay. I'm all ears. Do you see I have noticed your disapproval concerning me dating Sarah? I mean through your anger and actions. And I want to know the reason behind your actions. Loretta. 
you came all the way from your house to my house so we can talk about cereal now let's just find some Juan, else to talk please about. the thing is i've i've always wished for a man like cereal in my life and knowing that both of you have nothing intimate i can't uh, loretta 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 Let me ask you a question. What about the, the big men that ask you out on a daily basis? Hmm? What about the rich and influential men that come your way? What happens to them? Joy, you see, I want a man like Siri in my life. A man that I can watch grow. I mean, a man that we can grow together. A man that I can, you know, grow. Loretta. Cyril is not that man. Yes, you will have to look somewhere else because he's not the man. Well, I think that sums it up. Can we now talk about something else? Yes. Yes? I'm leaving already. I wanted to have some time with you, but it was obviously impossible. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Um, but we can see some other time. Listen, we're not going to see some other time. We're going to see tomorrow. Tomorrow? Is that even possible? Won't you go to work? Don't worry yourself about that. I want to see you tomorrow. Okay, um, place and time. I'm going to call you. All right. Uh -uh. What do you mean by that? You don't know why she's calling you and you are going? Huh? Look, I don't know. She'll definitely tell me when I get there. And all I know is, know is that she called me on the phone and said I should come see her tomorrow. <laughs> and you want to rush there? You want to rush there? Do you know the magnanimity? The magnitude? Of the crime you want to commit, of this, your journey. Anyway, I don't need to stress myself. I have received strict order not to open this gate for you. So there's nothing that will make me push these gates. Go inside and rest. And but do you know? Do you know if it is something that is going to benefit the both of us? What type of benefit is that? Do you ever do anything that benefits somebody? It's like you want to be, be very careful. Meanwhile, do you say benefit? I believe so. What type of benefit? I don't know, but I just believe that it might benefit us. Yeah. Okay, I see what will happen. I will look for a way to sneak you out. I'll sneak you out. But whatever you get, 50 50 you. 50 50. Prof, prof. Go inside first. Go inside first. Eat that one. Hey. Hey. You don't look so good. Are you okay? I'm not sure. I mean, my my knees, my knees ache. My joints, they ache too. In fact, my whole body. Wow, sorry. You must have exhausted yourself at work. Have you taken pain reliever? No, I'm, I'm not sure I need it. Hmm. Looks like someone wants some massage. 
Hmm? Some caressing. Hmm? How? How did you know exactly what I've been indirectly asking you for? Because I pay attention and it's written all over you. Is it? Mm hmm. So stand up, let's go. I'm not feeling so fine. I'm feeling so how. That's why. So because you're not feeling fine, I should not go to work again? Uh-uh. Madam, I, I thought you were a lawmaker. Are you not into all these human rights issues and all this? Is it written down there in your constitution that when somebody is not feeling so fine, there are some palliatives, some things that you should recommend, like more than milk and other things you give the, the, the prof, person prof, to feel fine. Prof. Ma? Before I count to three, you would go and open that gate. What is wrong with you? Why are you giving me fake laws in my own house? Oh, are this one fake? Sorry. Uh, oh, go my and right. open the gate. Withdraw. Human rights, withdraw. To avoid Wahala. Uh, prof, what's up now? Why were you why, why were you delaying her from going out? Where you know I have somewhere I will have to catch up with. Eh? Okay? She, she, she needed to go before I can go out. Let me tell you, you see that you're catching up. In that you're catching up, make sure you catch something while coming back. If not, I will make sure Madame catch you, render and dead. No, well, I'll have Let me start going before. Let me see. Okay, wait, wait. Where, when are you coming back? Oh, you will see me now. Hey, 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 come here. Hey, Siri. 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 Darling. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Hello, Joanne. Oh, you're at your chambers already? Oh, I'm so sorry, my darling. I'm not feeling so well, okay? I can't I can't make it today. Listen, I'll call you later. Yes. All right. Bye. That was Joanne, right? Yes. Any problem? Please, I need to go. I don't want her to come out and see that I came out here with you. Come on. Come on, Sirius. Stop it. Stop acting like a kid. Listen. She will not know you came out to see me, okay? Better. So, where are you taking me to? Don't worry, you like this. Ooh. These clothes are beautiful. Believe. Ah, ah. Yay! 
Oh my god, yeah, spoil you. Spoiling. Shall I complete spoiling? Ah, are least, you serious? At least now I have clothes to wear. You say? I have clothes to wear now. <laughs> oh, this boy. I don't understand what you meant by that. What do you mean by you have clothes to wear? You're saying it as if you are the only the sole owner. <laughs> she bought it for me now. I bought it, it for you, how? It's like you're forgetting the clothes. And you were leaving the clothes. I added some clothes there, 50 50. It's like you are forgetting yourself. You want me to tell Madame that you went out to see Loretta? Ah. Eh? You want me You want me to? Once Madame comes down, tell Calm down, me. calm down, calm down, bro. Huh? Your blood is boiling. That's an accusation. Man. That's a big crime. Don't do that. You say, I'm a bit in crime, crime, crime. Well, yeah, take the ones you want so that I will quickly go and arrange my things before Joanne will come back. No hand. Put in a SS large. Oh, oh, three S large. But where do you want what to make it? Is one trouser here? I will, I will be the one to take the trouser. Take shirt, take shirt. 50-50. How many shirts? Okay, take three shirts for one trouser. Three shirts for one trouser. Okay. Take shirts. Let me just take one trouser. It's okay. <laughs> where do you want to wear clothes? Okay, don't worry now. When Madame will ask you where you went to, you will tell her it's okay. Of course, it's okay. Madame will ask you, where did you go to? And you, you will say it's okay. Okay, who let you out? Who let her let you in? Loretta? Hmm? You told me you weren't feeling fine. So how come you're lively? I was not sick. I just wanted to take some time off duty and then spend some time with my crush. Your crush? Mm-hmm. Loretta, I hope you did not go to my house in my absence. Never. I didn't go to your place. I told him to meet me somewhere. What is wrong with you, Loretta? What exactly is your problem? What do you want with cereal? What? Nothing. I mean, I just want to be his woman and I want him to be my man. And that is not going to be possible. Can't you see it? Listen, I do not know how many times you want me to say this to you, but I will say it to you if you want me to say it over and over again. Cereal has a lot to deal with right now. Yes, he has a lot on his mind. I mean, he needs to sort out his issues before even getting into any woman drama. Ah, why is it so hard for you to understand? Leave Cyril alone. Have a good day. Juan. So you went out with Loretta, despite my warnings? I am, um, I was there. Ah, ah, you were stammering. Cyril, what is your problem? What exactly is your problem? I'm asking you! What do you think that she can offer you that I cannot offer you times two? What? I'm sorry. I'm not interested. You're sorry. That's all you can say? So, if you're not comfortable staying here, or if, if, you, if you prefer her, you might as well gather your things and move in with her. No. I, I feel at home here. I'm, I'm sorry I went out with her without you or against your approval, but it won't happen again. I'm not interested in your promises. I am not interested in your promises, Cyril. You have two options. Stay or leave. Why, why, why did you tell her that, you, that we went out together now? 
Siri, what is wrong with you? I don't want her to start feeling like I'm hiding some things from her. Well, she didn't like it. She's been mad at me since she came back. Hey, you shouldn't have told her in the first place. The last thing I will do is to hide my feelings for you from her. Uh, I won't do that. And, and please, please, Loretta, please, I beg you in the name of God, forget about your feelings about me right now and just tell me why you came here to see me. Eh? Tell me before she will wake up now and come and say that you came here again. It's fine. Anyway, she mentioned to me that you need some things, I mean, before you settle down with a woman. So I want to know what are those things? Is this something money can buy? Is this something I can do for you? Please forget about it, okay? Please just go. Siri, I'm only trying to help you. And I do not remember asking you for your help. Uh, please, you know what? Um, just go. Siri, don't do this. Come. Siri. Siri. Who is that? Loretta. You need to stop calling him. Stop calling him. He is busy and he cannot speak to you at the moment. Good night. I'm sorry, I'll block her after me. Okay? Better. So, how come you have not complimented my cooking today? Oh, pardon my manners. This? This is so sweet. Just like the person that made them. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. And I'm happy you like it. You're so sweet. No, you are sweet. No, you are sweet. You are sweet. Huh? You're so sweet. You're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> What is Loretta's car doing here? <coughs> Madam, she came to this place to see you. You were not around, so she decided to stay inside and wait. Since. You mean Loretta is inside there? Yes. And she's in there with Cyril? Since you, over two hours now. In fact, I think they have been there for like three hours. Oh my goodness. You know, they almost reached four hours. So. They are just there. Loretta! Loretta! What are you doing with my man? Um, I was... You were what? You were what? Now before I close my eyes and open them, you will leave my house! Get out! Get the hell out of my house! What would you expect me to do? Are you seriously asking me that? Cyril, is that what you're asking me? I house you. I feed you and I make sure you like nothing. Absolutely nothing. And this is how you pay me back. A broken heart. Oh, look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. 
But it's all your fault. Yeah. Look, when you started helping me out and all the things you did, I fell in love with you. And when I tried to express my feelings to you in words and in action, what did you do? You gave me an attitude. Yes. You threatened me with law and constitutional stuff. I don't want to go to jail. I had no feelings for Loretta. Did I? No. But as it stands now, we are expecting a baby. What? What do you... What do you mean by that? She's carrying my baby. What have I done to myself? <laughs> what mess have I gotten myself into? <sighs> Allowing my fellow woman take my man away from me. <laughs> A man under my roof. <sighs> I'm the cause of this whole problem. I was looking down on Cyril, scaring him away because he's not classy enough. Now oh, Loretta has taken him away from me. Getting pregnant for him. My goodness. My goodness. Look at what my pride has done to me. <laughs> if I had earlier allowed Cyril come very close, if I have allowed him that intimacy without looking down on him, this would not <laughs> have happened. This would not have happened. <laughs> Loretta has taken Cyril away from me. My pride has finished me. Pride has killed me. Dream is this? Lo Loretta. Loretta getting pregnant for cereal? No, no, no. No, no. I, I will not allow this happen. I will not allow this happen. Never. Come in. Good morning. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, someone all of a sudden became sweet overnight. Um, can I? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So how was your night? Uh, it was good. Just that um, there was 
kind of like cold. Hmm. Yeah. Don't worry. From now on, I will be here to keep you warm. Promise. Really? Yes, really. And um, no rape allegation if I try to hold you or something? No. Huh? Yes. Okay, that means I can actually hold you now. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, tell me, what would you like to have for breakfast? Um, I trust your judgment. Okay, then. Um, I'm going to go out and fix something for us to eat. Okay. That'd be nice. Okay. All right, so. I'll be back. Yeah? All right. <sighs> Prof, I had a very terrible dream last night. And it would be very disastrous for me. If that dream comes to pass. Ah, Madam, you would have called me. You for call me, make a fight the disastrous so back to back. You know? We are jobless. <laughs> fight the disastrous dream. Prof, listen, it's, it's not about that. Okay? On no account should Loretta come into this house in my absence. Okay? Have you heard me? Yes, I heard you clearly, ma. Very clear. It's not about hearing me clearly, okay? I want you to make sure that she doesn't come into this house while I'm not here. And on no account should you allow Cyril go out to meet her. Because if you do that, Prof, you will not like the outcome. Madam, I promise you. I promise you to make sure nobody comes into this compound. Mm. All right. I promise you. Open the gates for me. Okay. Ma, can you back me up? I'll go to one back. We have one key. Bro, open that gate. Hello, Cyril. It's me, Loretta. Oh, Loretta. Good morning. How are you, my darling? I'm not fine. Oh. What's wrong with you? Look, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm, I've not been feeling well. I feel a bit um, dizzy. Oh, so sorry. I, I, I wanted us, I wanted us to meet. Um, there's no need to, to, to bother yourself stressing the talk. I, I, I can't make it. I'm not feeling fine. So just, uh, I will not be able to make it. Just. Siri, I. Hello? Hello? Prof, what's the meaning of this? Oga, Madam told me that I should not allow you out of this company. Uh -huh. And this time around, she was strict about it. Uh -huh. So <laughs> you have to remain here. Remain here for whatever you say or do inside this compound from now will be used against you in the court of law. And but I've not said I'm going out. I just came outside to receive breeze. 
Pressure. Better. You are here to receive breeze. Are you also using your leg to receive the breeze? The way uh -huh. you are moving it. I'm stretching now. Eh, uh, Usain Bolt. Like Usain Bolt stretch. Mm -hmm. Like we actually wah wah. Mm -hmm. Stretch and stretch. Mm -hmm. Oga, okay, stay here. Mm -hmm. Stay here. I'm telling you. And uh, confess, just me. What's the reason why did she say you should not let me go out? <laughs> uh, she said she had a dream, though she did not. She did not tell me about the dream, but the, her tune. And the way she was saying it, I believe it will be because of you and Loretta. You know, go past like that. <laughs> that <is> funny, <laughs> why are you laughing? No, it makes sense. <laughs> so that is why Joan was acting so different all of a sudden, like an angel. You know, jo Joan that would not allow me to touch her on a good day. All of a sudden, she became romantic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, that one is none of my business. My own business is to make sure I, I'm, I'm, I'm watchful of you. Oh, Say, you know, pass here. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I've, I, I've heard you. I've heard, I've heard you. Good day. 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 <laughs> okay, you don't know me. Yeah, you know how I take hustle with you. And when and I do NYS, yeah. we soldiers. So, I for do, your mind now, you. I you move, I move you now. <laughs> but I don't already come outside. Like that. I don't already touch you, pa. Uh -huh. Good day. Don't go, Zuzu. Good day, Zuzu. Come on. Bro, bro. It's okay when you make practice. Good day. He just holds me, that's all I'm asking. Hey, but what of those times when you used to say, if I touch you, that it's against the law? Those laws don't apply to us again. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so what about um, section 3-5? come on! Stop it. They don't apply anymore in this house? No, they don't. Wait, seriously they don't? Seriously? Wait. What is it? <laughs> hey, serious. Can you believe Prof, I mean the gate guy, he's been using the law to control me since in this house. Oh, the law says this, you, you will go to jail 40 years. Give me this rice or not. The babe, law, give me babe, meat. Come on, listen. Those laws don't apply. What is going on here? Huh? I believe these people don't forget me. Any. Ha! Now, well, how are they here since I never chop food? My dad never even called me to come and carry my food. What is going on here? You see, say, uh, uh, Siri is now saying, Madam, is becoming romantic, romantic. Who knows whether they don't from romantic now enter the real romance? Don't leave me here. Ha! I better go. I don't chop bread here and I know home. The same man shall not leave my bread alone. I need other things, oil. I need the real oil. You let me go inside and check if they are cooking something. I mean, I was just using those laws when we were not. <laughs> what did you just say Prof has been doing? Controlling me in this house with the law. He quotes fake laws. Now I know it's fake. Like, Prof, is that you? Yes, ma'am. Come in. I can't believe it. Oh, good smell if you come from the kitchen. But I say we don't go chop today. Why don't go kill us? Prof, why have you been quoting fake laws to my man in this house, trying to control him? Why? Madam, me. Mm-mm. Nalayo. Eh? Nalayo. Wait, I've been lying? Oh, you tell me I've been lying. Madam Nalayo. I won't even take control of this man now. I won't take control of this big man. I won't control him as road safety. Or as last man. How? Me control him how? What? Oh. He, 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 he was like... He, 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 he was... Who was like? Me. Good day. How? 
Oga, everything I've been telling you, now lie, yo. Lie. Even like this small, small code where madam they make for this company. Now I combine together. I combine them. They tell you, they use them against you for my own cut of gate. No serious something. Oh, you got to take them serious. You got to believe them. Now you know. Prof. What? <laughs> don't you ever. Don't you ever put fake laws in this house again. Don't do it again. Like this guy has been like literally been. Literally like... what? Oh God, talk the one where you know. Talk the one. Where... Oh God, put me for waiting. I know, no. Mm. I know what they. Get out, prof. Get out. Okay. Food. Okay. Food. Oh, food. Which food? Come on. Can you get out of here? Oh, God. Can you imagine? I feel used. Okay, come. Now I'll just hug you for free. <laughs> come on. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm the no one that allowed myself to use. <laughs> <laughs> you come in. Someone seems to be lonely here. Oh, yeah. What is it? I don't know. Um, for some reason, I just feel like I don't want to do this now. Do you know that section 309, subsection 2, states that you cannot turn down my advances? Like Your advances? Yes. My advances, as long as I'm housing you. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. But we cannot fuss things here. Remember that. Need I remind you that the same section 309, subsection 4, says that a girl can do whatever, whatever she wants with her man, willingly or forcefully. Oh. So, <laughs> you, come here. I'm here. <laughs> come here. <laughs> Good morning, babe. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you very much for last night. Ah, I'm the one that should be thanking you for being so sweet. You made me feel like a woman. And I just want you to promise me something. That you would never leave me for another woman. Never. I will never leave you for any woman on the face of this earth. I love you so much. I love you too.
I'm so sorry about the delay, babe. It's okay, shall we? Boy, you should have told me you guys are in love with each other. Um, you see, Loretta, I, I've always been in love with Cyril. That's, is the truth, you know. And I realized that the feeling was mutual. Yes, I, he showed some signs that he wants me to, you know. But my problem was my pride, I mean. You know that I've always seen Cyril as a, like... A nobody, I guess. Until I pick interest, then you realize the human being. <sighs> you know, I just, I, 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 I've always liked him so much, but I, I was just trying to tame my pride, you know? So I was trying to suppress it. <sighs> <laughs> All right. I realized your reaction when I told you about my feelings for Sarah. I mean, how you don't want any woman around him. <sighs> look, you don't look at class status when you want to date somebody. A lot of people are single today probably be single forever because they snubbed a distinct partner. You seriously need to overlook all those things and enjoy the beauty of your relationship. Yeah. You're right, Loretta. Of course. At least I know that now. <laughs> I mean, you don't even have to tell me that you see, I know that Cyril is, is a nobody now. I mean, he has nothing. But I believe, certainly, that he's going to be somebody tomorrow. Of course. Amen. Listen, John, I'm sorry for trying to come between the both of you. I know. Come on, Loretta. Please, please, no. This has nothing to do with you. Absolutely nothing. It's my fault. All my fault. Listen, I'm going to take all the blame. It's my fault. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so I think we need to get something to eat. Oh, so hey, waiter! Cereal, <laughs> cereal, my man. Cereal, the milk. Cereal, the milk. You know cereal milk. Cereal milk will get us the sweets for children, buddy. Cereal the milk! <laughs> my man! My man! Two more. Fine boy, no pimple. One day you are. Which day? <laughs> my man. Prof, prof. My guy. This one you're hailing me like this. I hope I'm safe. And you always be safe. As long as I'm the security of this house, you always be safe. Okay. My man. <clears throat> Can I just um, can I just um, get just uh, like a gentle one K from you? Very quick, Prof. Okay. So I'm now your urgent one K client. Okay. So it's not like I'm making you my client. It's just that I have this um, pressing need, urgent need, and so I decided to, since you are closer, mm -hmm. cash out. Okay. Oh, cash out from you. Unfortunately, I don't have. You said? I don't have. <laughs> the money that I have, I've already scheduled it to use it for something else. What do you mean by that? No, what did you just say now? When I'm talking of urgent 1K, and you are telling me about schedule. What is schedule? When I have pressing need, I, I just explained myself now that I have pressing need. And you are telling me, yeah, you, what are you saying? This thing you just said now, you know, is against the law. This thing is that <clears throat> Prof, you have forgotten yourself now. Now your confession that you just made yesterday, you have forgotten it now. Eh? You have forgotten. I'm 
Madame. Madame said, one more lie in the name of the law. Just one more lie. I will tell her now. Just try it. How did I lie? Okay. Did I go to your national law? And which law? This one is law of the land. The law of the gods. The world is one where elders and the they take gather themselves. You know, say law fully everywhere. Okay, go to so the law you don't know the things for me. No, no, no. Let me tell you. Calm down, Olga. I'm quiet down. So, can I have the drink? The drink. Oh, okay. oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Can I have the money? You have said that the drink you want since now. Yeah, take now. Let me say that the drink, but who, who am I to say no? But this one you won't drink this thing now. I hope you'll still be able to mind your gates. I, I will think this. <laughs> My brother, we don't go far for change of the world. This one uh, wash, I will just wash them off. And it's okay. Drink yeah. because money no day. You see? Money no day. <sighs> no go that side, man. Uh, you know, say they say, who come borrow money? They serve them food or they give them drink. You first take. Say, possibility of people telling them story. They will. If you just tell a story, say you know that. Yeah, you so know no the, good answer. You say? But you know that. That reminds me. Did you tell me this guy was having challenges? Yeah, um... He did have some challenges. You know... The boss he was... Working for as an apprentice. After so many years of being with him. The man sent him out of his house without giving him a dime. Hmm. A dime. And the worst part is that his, his, his people are not even buoyant enough you know, to assist him. So, it's just so sad. That's bad. I know. It is bad. But I'm trying to set him up, you know. I'm trying to, yes, start up something for him. I've rented a shop. I've gotten a carpenter to fix it up. Wow. Yeah. Soon enough, the place will be ready and then he can start his business. Wow. That's a brilliant move. At least that will keep him busy and then generate some cash for him. Yeah. Yes, you're right. You know, I'm trying to make sure that his dream as a successful businessman comes to reality. Mm. He's a good man. A good man. Well, let's eat up, girl. Yeah, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> I hope work wasn't stressful today. No, it wasn't. Um, well, I had to go to the store. I drove straight from work to check on the carpenter to see how he's doing. Okay. He's almost finished to the work, you know. <laughs> yes, yeah, so very soon all we need to do is make a list of the things that you need to buy so that we can start making plans for your trip to go buy the goods. No, I don't need to travel. I have a contact of people I can call and they we build the goods. That's how my boss used to do it. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And baby. Yeah? I want to thank you for everything you've done for me. I mean... You saw a total stranger being harassed by people and you stopped by to help me. And ever since just within the twinkle of an eye, the snap of a finger, you changed my life. You changed my story. I appreciate you and I love you so much. You know, I believe that God makes people's paths to cross for a reason. 
And that's the same way he made our paths cross. Just so that our destinies can be fulfilled. I can't wait to see you at the top. We will be there together. I love you so much. I love you too. Yourself to do while it's away. I was just pondering and recounting how lucky I am. That's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Oh, hey. Are you going somewhere? Yes. So I just got a call from one of my suppliers that the goods has arrived. So I'm going to clear it. Oh. Okay, um, do you need me to come with you? Oh, I can no, just no, go no, in and... No, it's okay. I'll be fine, okay? You just stay undressed. Eh? Okay. So determined. Making it difficult to embrace. So determined to excel. Because you think you want to avoid disgrace. So you try, you try to keep You are so lucky to have such a man in your life. My dear Loretta, lucky does not even cut it. I am beyond blessed to have him. You know, that man is a perfect example of a hustler. Mm. It's not even up to a month he started that business and it's already booming. What marvels me is how he's able to attend to everyone in that shop. The last time I was there, he was attending to so many people at once. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking of ours. Tomorrow is his birthday. Really? Yes. And I have been thinking of the perfect gifts to get him. But nothing seems, seems to come to mind. Really? If you don't know the gift to get for your man, I'm not the one that will tell you. Come on, Loretta. What are friends for? I need you to, at least, think of something. You know, something good for a man like him. Think, think, <laughs> baby. Yeah. Okay, um, why not get him a toothbrush? And, um, what again? A paste? Girl. And... <laughs> no, please, <laughs> No, please. wait, I want to no, tell you this. You don't tell me any longer. I don't need your advice. So, um, yeah, so is, is the car here yet? Yes, 
everything is ready. Everything. Yes, I can see the excitement already. Don't no start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so. Let me just go in and get him. All right, fast. Yes. He's so devil. I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. You shall sure know how to make me wake up smiling. Do you remember what day today is? I'm supposed to go to the market. That's all you remember? I have something to show you. Sorry, I'm not Catalan. She's no longer young. Oh, Happy <laughs> birthday. Thank you. Hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. And I want you to know that you are special to me. Mm. Okay, and I. I am so thankful to God for making our paths cross. I love you very much. I love you too. Good day. Good day, Zuzu. Hi. And. I have a surprise for you. Another one. Yes. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Ha! Yes. Put that shot down. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Put yes. You got me down. a car. Yes. Accept this as a top of my life. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Siri. <laughs> if you see that car, nylon everywhere. No Nigerian person don't enter an apart from me. And do you go where do I? Total shock. Go see him. Okay, go shock you. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm coming. Mm. Try. Mm. Madam, remember section 13, you know, sexual harassment. Too much hug. Sorry. Um, so, in the spirit of surprises, I was actually waiting for you to come upstairs before I surprise you because I had it all planned for my birthday. Um, Good day! Finally! Finally! See ya! Joan, will you marry me? You've been a ray of sunshine to my life. Yes! Think you want 
to avoid disgrace. So you try, you try to be grace. But the feeling you find is so difficult to erase. Wrong. You tell yourself together you don't belong. Oh. 